November 2020, Day 6 What can I show you today that you likely haven't seen or noticed elsewhere? As usual, quite a bit. Firstly, how to take someone out with one push. Congratulations, Aso Noyama of Division 3. That's a potent Tachi-Ai weapon you have there. Next, further up Division 3 and to Orki for the second time this week. He did actually end his 16-match losing run on Wednesday, the one day so far I haven't gone. But could he finally win in front of my camera? Well, that's the closest he's come so far. A valiant effort, I'm sure you'll agree. And I'll be sure to keep my camera on him. In Division 1, Shimano Umi was the first of four unbeaten leaders in action, against Ichinojo, the very man he beat on Day 6 of the last tournament. That win leveled their head to head at one apiece. So, how about today? It all rested on that right versus left battle. Would Shima repel the pectoral? Would Ichi land the coveted left belt grip? There's your answer. Don't expect even this enigmatic Mongolian to lose from there. The next leader on stage was Chiono Kuni, going for a 30th win from 31. Incredible, isn't it? Against winless Enho. Good reflexes from the Yobidashi defending his water bucket with body and soul. Chionokuni got more prize money than usual for that effort, scooping up all those envelopes meant for the still popular Enho. But will the little man even be eligible for the next tournament? I'm sure you've seen Terunofuji and Takakesho's quite routine wins elsewhere, so let me show you something less usual. This is referee Kimura Motoki confirming both wrestlers' intentions after Akua charged on just the third salt throw, and Sadano Umi understandably shouted, Mata, not ready. Although they are free to start any time, even on the first salt throw, the two men decide to proceed with the final salt throw as planned. Afterwards, 
This happens. Rare is the moment when a referee sternly tells a wrestler to calm down, but when the safety of a limb is put at stake, he has no choice. There's no denying Aqua in the end, he gets to pull off his desired throw. That's his judo background coming into play again, taking him to 2 and 4. Finally, prepare for plenty of bangs and clangs as these two bull-like frames collide. It's not often you see Takanosho win by going backwards. I guess Takakesho's taught him a trick or two. And here's his beaming masked face at the taxi rank some 30 minutes later, lapping up the praise from impressed fans. There were many dark days when this Sekiwake thought he'd never come this far. It's scenes like this which doubtless make his day. And, I'd like to think, this channel.